The United States is making an unprecedented charge against another country, the Chinese. Charging a team of Chinese spies with stealing American inventions and costing a lot of American jobs. The director of the FBI exclusively talked to ABC senior justice correspondent Pierre Thomas today, saying that in essence, the Chinese seem to feel why build it if you can just steal it. These are the faces of five Chinese government spies indicted today by the Justice Department, accused of spying on American companies, costing them millions of dollars and causing thousands of Americans to lose their jobs. This is a case alleging economic espionage by members of the Chinese military. The five alleged military spies, computer hackers from China's shadowy unit 61398. They worked out of this office building in Shanghai. Their alleged target, the U.S. energy and metals industry. Chinese hackers penetrated computers at U.S. Steel, Alcoa, Westinghouse, Allegheny Technologies, and Solar World. The stolen information, invaluable. For example, by allegedly hacking U.S. Steel, the Chinese spies learned to manufacture steel more cheaply, causing world steel prices to plunge. Then U.S. Steel saw its profits plunge and was forced to cut production and lay off workers. These victims are tired of being raided. This 21st century burglary has to stop. In an exclusive interview with ABC News, FBI Director James Comey sounded the alarm about the growing Chinese threat. There's only two kinds of corporations, big corporations in America, those who have been hacked by the Chinese or those who don't yet know they've been hacked by the Chinese. The amount of theft that's going on is simply staggering. The FBI Director also pointed to a different case today. This one showing even American homes are at risk to hackers. 100 people in 18 countries arrested for developing a malicious software called Black Shades, allowing them to secretly take control of people's personal computers to spy on them through their web cameras. Miss Teen USA Cassidy Wolf was a victim, her private nude photos stolen. Oh, it's not science fiction. I mean, these criminals have the ability to reach in and watch you, to record your keystrokes, to take pictures of what you're looking at, and then to use your computer to victimize your neighbors to sort of harvest your computer into a zombie network. The Chinese government called the charges bogus, but the FBI director bluntly told me he has the evidence that proves they did it. And if those five military officers ever leave China, they better be looking over their shoulders, Diane. Going after the spies around the world tonight. Thank you so much.